Hey, it's Jo. So for today's video, we are going to eat carbonara. I cooked this myself. Um, yeah, because it's my mom's birthday, and my brother requested for his favorite carbonara. So I cooked carbonara for today. I just added bacon, shrimp, and mushroom, and also I have. Um, what do you call this? Toasted bread on the side. And also, coffee. You'll see it later. If you can hear my electric fan, you know the drill. Mainit sa Pilipinas. Let's start. Yum. Ay. Sobrang dami kong nilagay na hipon. This is a frozen shrimp that I bought sa SM as usual mm. Mm. Nilagyan ko lang ng butter yung bread. Last bite before we go into our story time today. Mm. Coffee. I have a new mug, a coffee mug. Sobrang laki niya. So marami rin siyang lamang kape. Di ba ang cute? It says love. And then on the other side is the kisses so so I'm cute mm. okay so for today's video we are going to talk about a stunt woman named Olivia Jackson so, kung may nakikita kayong tinga, sorry na. Dati yung magagawa, ganun talaga. Pag kumakain ka, syempre magkakaroon ka ng tinga. So, Olivia Jackson is a stunt woman and she was hired as a stunt woman or a body double for actress Mila Jovovich, which is the main character in Resident Evil series. Um, Olivia was hired in 2015 for Resident Evil The Final Chapter which was shown in 2016 but they filmed 
the movie in 2015. Sinasabi ko lang sa inyo yung timeline. So, Olivia is actually known in the um, stunt world, in the body double world, or um, stunt, ang ba tawag doon? Basta yung sa world ng pagiging stunt woman and stunt men. Kasi, madami na siyang nagawang film, or marami na siyang nagawang Uh, marami na siyang nadobolan kumbaga <laughs> she's been um, a body double for Charlize Theron in Mad Max Fury Road and uh, she also um, Olivia was also a body double of Karen Gillan for Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014 and then for Elizabeth Olsen in Avengers Age of Ultron. So, of course, alam naman natin yun. Familiar naman tayo dun. Because even here in the Philippines, uh, in our movie industry, and then sa, sa TV, um, actors and actresses have their own body double or stand men or women. So, Olivia actually initially turned down the offer even though it was a huge film. Um, siguro naman familiar tayo ng lahat sa Resident Evil series, no? Uh, and because the movie will be shot in South Africa, which means Olivia will be paid less. Because Olivia was born in, in South Africa, but she's living in UK. So, mas mababa yung bayad kasi sa South Africa gagawin yung movie. Sabi nung um, stunt coordinator, um, the stunt coordinator told Olivia that they'll give her a raise since raise, as in may dagdag na bayad since um, magaling siya and uh, she's known in the stunt world. <laughs> stunt men and women industry. So yun. So, pinapangunahan ko na kayo medyo um, Medyo mahaba yung video natin today because um, medyo mahaba yung story. But yeah. And also disclaimer, medyo viewer's discretion is advised dito sa kwento na to. Basta medyo ano siya. Um, creepy. Parang ganyan. Hindi naman masyado pero basta yun. So on September 5th, 2015, it was a rainy day. I know, mali pala. So, dahil nga bibigyan ng race si Olivia, and um, the stunt coordinator told her that uh, she'll be paid more, she said yes. So, on September 5th, 2015, it was a rainy day in South Africa. And Olivia was supposed to film a fight scene. And actually, the crew members thought that the shooting will be postponed kasi nga sobrang umuulan and uh, malamig. So, mahirap mag-film pag maulan. At the last minute, Olivia was told that she'd be doing a tricky stunt on a motorcycle. I don't like motorcycle. Hindi ko siya masyadong gusto because masyado siyang maliit and tako aksidente. Um, ang dami ko nang narinig na kwento na na-accidente sa motor that's why hindi ko siya masyadong gusto wala lang side note lang okay so before they do the stunt before they film I mean syempre nag-practice sila they had two practice runs and it went well so nag-practice sila okay sabi ng director which is pertinent to the story tong si director Paul Anderson Olivia was told that 
she should drive 43 to 50 mph miles per hour towards a van mounted with a camera on a crane kasi di ba pag nagfi-film ng mga um, fight scenes at saka mga action film talagang sobrang daming camera dapat and then yung camera nakalagay sa crane alam na natin kung ano yung crane basta yung parang mas maliit lang doon sa ginagamit sa mga gumagawa ng building so doon para alam mo yun pwede nilang uh, may nagmamaneuver na tao syempre uh, kung kailangan ng shot sa likod sa gilid sa harap so yun actually I thought na yung mga um, fight scenes sa Resident Evil was CGI'd or camera trick. I thought they were CGI'd or computer generated imagery yung mga um, fight scenes, yung mga sabog-sabog ganyan. But this particular stunt was uh, filmed with a uh, the stunt woman Olivia Jackson. I actually watched um, Resident Evil in my classmates' house when I was in high school. So hindi pa ako ganun ka familiar kung ano ba yung Resident Evil. So na curious ako kasi nakakatakot siya. At yung particular scene na naaalala ko was yung bilang babae si Mila. I believe her character's name is Alice. Si Alice was being chased by dogs zombie zombie na dogs so yun anyway sorry first take was good nagawa ni Olivia yung scene okay na okay siya but the director Paul Anderson didn't love it hindi niya ganun kabit so he wants Olivia to be closer on the camera as in hindi ganito ka close mas closer pa para mas makita niyo yung mga tinga ko, no? <laughs> mas closer pa. But the thing is, Olivia was not wearing any earpiece, helmet, or anything for her safety. So, as in, yung katawan lang niya, siya, na nakasakay sa motorcycle. I'm not really sure, pero nagtanong yata si Olivia kung bakit walang earpiece. Kasi sa earpiece, para marinig mo yung instruction ng director kung is she driving too fast? Alam mo yun, baka ma-accidente, baka mabunggo sa ganito, sa ganyan. But, yeah, siguro na um, hindi daw magandang tingnan sa, sa movie kung magkakaroon siya ng earpiece. The director told the camera crane operator to delay raising the camera to show Olivia almost hitting the camera. Sinabi niya, dun sa camera crane operator, um, actually, what's supposed to happen is, um, habang nag-drive si Olivia, so ayun na, palapit na siya sa camera, no? yung camera, kuwari ito yung camera, ito na, yung, ito na si Olivia, ako si Olivia, yung camera dapat tataas siya, tataas siya sa harapan ni, ni Olivia, and then over her head. Kasi nga naka-crane. So, dapat tataas and then uh, it will go up over her head. So, dahil nga sinabi ng director dun sa operator ng camera crane na i-delay ng one second lang daw. But, Olivia was not informed na nagbago yung uh, pagtaas ng camera na i-delay nila ng one second. Olivia was doing a dangerous stunt that the director made even more dangerous because he or no one told her about the change in the um, camera operation. Olivia was driving almost 50 miles per hour on the motorcycle. But because she was not told na yung camera ay madadalay ng one second, Olivia collided on the camera crane. Trigger warning. Beshies. When she hit the camera crane, her left cheek was torn. Yung flesh. Yung flesh ng left cheek ni Olivia was torn, showing her teeth. Iba may mga zombies sa Resident Evil. Parang ganun yung nangyari sa kanya. So, nung na-scrape off yung... Grabe. Nakakatakot to. Nakaka... 
Yeah. After nun, her left arm was torn as well. It was severed. Left arm from above her elbow. It was a nightmare. Kaloka. She was rushed to the hospital where she was placed in a medical induced coma. She also damaged her spine which lead to lasting nerve issues. So the doctors have no choice but to amputate her left arm. I'll insert a picture. Maganda, maganda yung picture na i-insert ko. Her body was paralyzed and um, a portion of her face is also paralyzed her left side she undergone um, face surgery of course face surgery and uh, therapy she had the lasting issues on her body and of course she filed a lawsuit against the director Paul Anderson the producer Jeremy Bolt and his company when the time this happened Olivia was married and nabasa ko na her husband talked to Paul Anderson and um, he was told that they will cover all her expenses kasi yung nangyari kay Olivia yung recovery period niya matagal so ibig sabihin pera yung kailangan she'll need a lot of money millions of dollars at least or maybe more for her recovery but maliit lang yung naibigay ng um, ni, ni Paul Anderson and ng mga producers I believe until now um, may lawsuit pa din and um, Olivia is still fighting for justice for what happened to her she recovered yes she took kickboxing and other exercises to strengthen her body but she can't spend a long time sa gym because um, the pain overwhelms her, of course. And um, in an interview, she told one of the hardest thing is she lost the life that she loved because she loved doing stunts. She knew that she would never work again. She loved her job with all her heart. Sobrang hirap ng pagiging stand-up woman. Sobrang lakas niya. Kasi diba, yung mga lalaki parang okay lang yun kasi malalakas naman talaga sila. Mga nag-stunt nag men. Pero pag babae, diba ang astig? Grabe si Olivia. Super woman. Sobrang ganda niya. Parang hindi mo iisipin na stunt woman siya kasi she looks like a model. May insurance naman. May personal insurance si Olivia. And uh, meron din yata yung producers. But of course, because of uh, her injuries, she maxed out her insurance. So, that's why she filed a lawsuit para na-compensate yung medical expenses niya. Grabe yung story time natin today. Parang ngayon, pag naiisip ko, um... Ang ganda ng movie, ang ganda ng resident, pero um, behind the, the film pala, yung mga behind the scenes na mga nangyayari. May mga nababasa pa ako na there's um, a lot of accidents, especially when filming action films sa Hollywood. Kasi sometimes they prefer yung as in shoot talaga real time, yung hindi sinisigi ay yung mga scenes. Kasi parang... Uh, matatalino na nga naman yung mga audience so they can see when um, a scene is uh, fake and dami rin nagsasabi na stuntmen and women should be included in the yung mga movie awards para 
alam mo yun, ma-recognize din yung hard work nila sa pag-film pero um, ano daw kasi yun, eh, nakakapag ano bang term doon? Na, ano bang tawag doon? Na de-de-fantasize ba yung tawag doon? Or basta yun, nawawala daw kasi yung mystery siguro ng film kapag ka uh, um, ipapakilala mo yung mga taong gumagawa ng mga stunts na parang ah hindi pala si um, Tom Cruise yung gumawa ng stunt na to or si Alice pala is hindi ganun ka galing sa fight scenes parang ganyan siguro nawawala yung uh, fantasy na this person is strong or si um, Captain America ba diba? hindi pala siya yung superhero ng malakas kasi kailangan niya ng stuntman ba diba? So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. Please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, let's eat more. God bless you all. Bye!